all you girls, I want you to run around the sports hall in three circles around the sports hall. Ready, steady, go. Go, 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 go. HPV or human papilloma virus, it's a very common virus and it infects both men and women. There is now this link between HPV and head and neck cancer and therefore men presenting at clinic with a HPV head and neck cancer. I was diagnosed with head and neck cancer on Friday the 13th at 11.30, 2011. And uh, I had three tumours, one each side of the neck and one at the base of the tongue. I had chemotherapy every day for six weeks. So, and then I had two neck dissections where they open up from the ear to the shoulder, both sides, to take the tumours out. When the radiotherapy hits, because of where my tumours were, they have to go through those glands. And once they go through them, they kill those glands. So I don't have saliva in my mouth, so what I have to do is I have to drink water all the time. It's very difficult to actually know whether you're infected with the papilloma virus because most people don't have any symptoms. If you have a, a very obviously growing wart, then clearly you have been infected by the virus. But most people don't present with any symptoms at all. So in that case there, actually it's very easy to be spread. People don't realise they've been infected. I'm particularly interested in the area of HPV in regards to how it's infecting the mouth. It's something that we've known about for about the last sort of 15, 20 years with the link between HPV in the mouth and its causes of head and neck cancer. Um, I'm not actually that sure. I don't really know. No. Just a little year 10 glossing over. The education around HPV and the awareness around HPV at the moment is very, very low. The issue we've got with the HPV programme as it is at the moment, that boys aren't vaccinated. My thoughts are we should be informing parents to give them the information and awareness for them to make their own judgement on whether they should get their boys vaccinated or not. One of the best places to look for if you wanted to know more about HPV is either when the schools are starting to talk to their year eight girls, there's the leaflets being sent out then that come from the NHS, very much explaining around the vaccination, but also explaining around the virus. You can look at places like the NHS website, Cancer Research UK. They all have a lot of information now around HPV and also more information around the vaccination programme. The trouble is when you're young, it's never gonna happen to you. And I see kids now, my own kids, you know, you. They go through life as if like today is today and it don't really matter tomorrow. But trust me, tomorrow comes very quick.